Thicker, a little heavier, but it features an ultra high resolution retina display, an A5X chip with quad core graphics, 4G LTE connectivity, and improved eyesight camera. But the best feature is that it will bring some temporary purpose to your life. You'll be able to wait in line for it. You'll be able to tell your friends how long you waited in line for it. When you get home, your old iPad will look like a real janky piece of shit compared to this one. The new iPad comes with a vague sense of ineffable progress because you can afford to buy a slightly improved version of a Chinese product that you already own. Now about that resolutionary display. The new iPad has much sharper text, which you need because you're a big reader and you need an iPad so you can do all that reading you've been prevented from doing before. And Apple has created a new version of GarageBand that allows you to wirelessly connect up to four iPads so you can jam with your friends. A great feature for people who want to be musicians, but don't want to have all that annoying musician sex. But if there's one thing Apple made clear, it's that you're going to be able to look at pictures of kids on this thing. The occasional butterfly, but mostly kids, kids, and more kids. And these fucking girls in backpacks. There's a picture of a white girl in a backpack being pulled around on a rickshaw by a brown man. The iPad will be there to show it to you in crystal clear HD, which is important because the screen is still smaller than a fucking George Melier's kinetoscope from Hugo or some shit. Speaking of which, be sure to download Hugo from the iTunes store, because I'm sure Martin Scorsese intended to be viewed nice and small and at the gym. But ultimately, the new iPad is a resounding success because it's still really good to jerk off to. You can escape from your husband or wife, maybe jerk off to those rickshaw girls. Bit by bit, you'll lose connection with all potential sexual partners until you're like a contemporary Travis Bickle. Only instead of collecting guns, you'll be collecting shiny jerk-off screens. Anyway, those are just a few of the features of the iPad 3. Whoops, I mean the new iPad. Why didn't they just call it the iPad 3? Because that wouldn't be pretentious enough for you fucking assholes. Oh look, it's out of batteries. Big surprise. I'm Reggie, and this has been Consumer Electronics Review.